Yo, what's up, guys? It's me. I'm back, and today we're doing a weapon review on the 130 Brightcore Wraith. I've heard a lot of good things about this weapon, how insane it is, and the range in it is. And uh, if you see, the range is better than a like, regular assault weapon. Five. 5120 and if you see like a nocturno 4096 so this has more than a thousand um extra range sorry and uh the perks on this is fire rate magazine size energy element headshot damage and damage to mismatches and bosses um i did not change any of the perks on this so that's why they're super bad and there's no crit rating on this and uh yeah so let's get into a mission Alrighty, so guys, I am here, and uh, let's unequip let's find that rift. this weapon and this weapon, and that's craft dome. Okay, so I forgot to get efficient, so I'm gonna have to do that like tomorrow. Cause right after this video, I'm gonna go watch the flash and then go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so with the with the bros, just cause I bro, no. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Oh, that's X, E, unequip, unequip. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's unequip our melee weapon, too. Alright, so this is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like when fired. And since it's a silenced weapon, you won't, um... Since it's a silenced weapon, you won't be a... Uh, it's not that loud. Okay, let's try it on these husks right here. So, oh... 90,000?! Without crit? I swear to god I just saw 90,000, didn't I? Sorry. Or am I just lying to myself? I have to be lying to myself, right? Wait... Yes, gun? Honestly, uh, it's not that good. I would rate it about a 6 out of 10. It's just not my kind of weapon. It, it fires fast, but it doesn't do really that much damage. It doesn't have a very good crit damage because of my perks. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't really like this one that much. Fair, honestly, completely honest. Um... I probably was lying to myself. I probably saw like 9,000 and that was like. Alright, so this has big bloom and stuff, so like. Yeah, it has big bloom, but like little. Yeah, let's just look at how long it takes to kill one of these. Watch this. Watch this. It takes almost half a magazine. Uh, more than half a magazine, and, uh, yeah, to kill one husk. We can't do this by ourselves, guys. Alright, so, uh, I'm being another mission. I'll be right back. Alright, so, guys, I'm back. That took a long time. Uh, and uh, we're in a, um, resupply mission. And, but I honestly thought of just, like, doing a solo mission, and so I went to resupply. And then I was like, watch, there's somebody gonna, there's gonna be people in here. Guess what, there's people in here, so. Here we are. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, how I was saying, it's like, this gun isn't that good. Uh, it's. This is, the reason why it's so good right now is because it's, we're not. Oh, we're probably level zone. Yeah, I'm just not a really big fan of this weapon at all. It barely does any damage. Yeah, it's, it's not that good. Alright, so a plus, I would give this... Yeah, or you know how I said I was worried this about 
5 or 6 out of 10. A plus I would give on this weapon is that the fire rate and the range. The fire rate, it's, it's ridiculously fast. I mean, it's usually normal, but for like this weapon, I want to shoot like... I want to shoot like... No, I want to shoot like... Instead of like... I want to shoot like... Instead of that fast. And uh, yeah, that's a good... Thing. Also, the range on it. Let's see. That's a good. So, four. No, oh, dude, that was like a side hit. Body shot. Thirteen thousand. Come over here. Sixteen thousand. Serious. Go way over here. Eight thousand. Starts to drop off a little bit. Go over here. Yeah, six thousand. So it it drops off a little bit, but not near as much as. Like a Nocturno or a Grave Digger would. I would also, I mean, uh, the cons on it are a lot better, th or a lot better than the pro. So maybe a, maybe instead of like a, a five or a four or three, like the damage is bad, the crit damage is bad, the crit chance is bad, the um, <laughs> the fire rate should should make it like melt better, but it doesn't really melt better. It just does less damage. It's really inaccurate. It doesn't have a very good, like, it has a lot of recoil. Um, also, it's, I don't really like it. The sound of it is just weird. I'd rather for a Siege Breaker or a Grave Digger sound. By the way, guys, I got used to the Grave Digger sound again. Let's go. And, um, uh, I also don't like the, I mean, I do like the silence effect, but, like, it doesn't it's not very useful that much I mean it can be useful if you're trying to like loot through caves but not really looting through caves that much because it's just not um also I don't like that it <laughs> I'm just complaining about it I'm gonna stop complaining about it actually but I'm gonna after this I also don't like how um little the max sizes I mean that's just because of my perks but like yeah I just don't like I think it, the reason why it doesn't do that much damage is because of the perks because if you see this it only has headshot damage no, no not even damage crit damage at all and it does do a lot better uh headshot damage as you see it does like 4,000 um regular damage for body shot and then headshot 9,000, so it does like double. Yeah. Fire husk, I got a little closer to it. It's actually not that bad if you think about it, but like, still, like, it's. It's not great. It's not great. It's re <laughs> I really am not gonna rock with this weapon at all. I'll probably try to get the perks different. Let's try an encampment on it. Wait, where? Oh, okay. Okay, so it's getting a little better. I think it also would be better if it was on an urban assault. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What is happening now? No, I'm liking it. No, I'm liking it. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Try it on this encampment. No, for some reason, no, I'm liking the sound of it. I'm liking the damage. Look at the damage. It absolutely melts. Maybe it, it was because of the inaccuracy that I wasn't hitting all my shots. Didn't mean to use that. But it was useful. Oh my god. Yes, I kind of like this now. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. I used to never like this thing. I used to hate this. Okay, yeah, so I might have been underestimating the wraith uh, instead of like a four or five i'd probably get about a eight or a nine no seven or an eight because i still don't like the amount like a little bit of damage it doesn't it should do like the grave digger like sixty thousand damage or more but only does like eleven thousand damage because i've heard that the impact i mean not the impact it does a insane damage but it's because of the perks it's not because of, it's not because of the guns because of the perk. So I would suggest 
if you get one of these weapons, like the Wraith or something, any weapon actually, put crit damage and damage on it, or like a crit build, like a crit rating and crit damage, because crit is the best damage in the game. Alright, so, uh, guys, also comment, comment in the comments what you would rate this gun, for if you had it, I would, I mean, I would recommend this weapon, maybe, depends, if you have a siege breaker, or a grave digger, or whatever, like, any of the weapons I reviewed, then I probably wouldn't recommend this weapon, because you already got better weapons, but, if you don't have any of those weapons I reviewed, yet or maybe want a longer assault rifle or a longer ranged assault rifle then yeah i'd probably recommend this i can't really get good gameplay and good thoughts that are like positive that i've heard about because of the perks my perks are very bad assault <laughs> Yeah, okay, so it would probably be better about with if it had better perks and with an actual urban assault or an AR um, hero specializing in assault rifles. It melts. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not as good as a grave digger. I'm gonna leave that video in the description. And oh. The Grave Digger was insane! That's my favorite weapon of all time! <sighs> Guys, also, if you want to be entered in the giveaway, all you have to do- I'm also saying the description, but you can also listen here. If you want to enter in the giveaway, all you have to do is- Um, like, subscribe. Like and subscribe. And then comment this in the comments in one comment or how many of comments you want to. Um, comment that you've subscribed and liked. And comment a nice comment, any comment. And then comment which 130 you want and you'll get three of one of these 130s. Or you can get 10 130 ball dynamos or 10 130 ceiling gas traps. Alright, so guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down in the comments. What you want me to ask, comment down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, and also comment down in the comments. If you want to enter in the giveaway, you have to comment in the comments that you like, subscribe. Also, leave a friendly comment or a nice comment. And comment down what three weapons you want. You can pick three weapons and you get those three weapons. Like... If you want a 130 Grave Digger, 130 Nocturna, 130 Siege Breaker, 130 Sound Spectre, 130 Typewriter, or 130 Wraith, you get to pick between if you want any three of those. Like, you can have one Wraith and two Typewriters, or one of these, one, one Nocturna, one Grave Digger, one Siege Breaker, anything that you want. And. Yeah, also I'm going to leave the rules for the giveaway in the description. Also, with the video of my last Grave Digger review video. Because that video was absolutely insane, bro. I love oh my, bro. You need to see how overpowered my Grave Digger is. I Because I have a crit build on it and stuff. Anyways, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.